Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Zell. So today we are here on our dining table. Uh, it's because I have to take care of this uh, poor Hoya Bella that is infested with spider mites and I don't want to film um, on the bedroom or on the platform where all of my, most of my plants are and take chances on getting them infested with spider mites. Also, if you hear noises, we have like a water fountain, we have a quicker pair that is so noisy on the background. So, yeah. <laughs> Today I'm going to take care of this Raya Bella. Uh, oh, there's a lot. Uh, this was originally living on my platform, but my husband got um, a sh plant shelf for his office, so I decided to put this uh, on that shelf Ooh. because we don't have, it doesn't have a lot of plant yet. I'm just trying to fill in the, the shelf, and I didn't know that. It's actually going to be infested with spider mites, and the carpet plant is the uh, vegetated ficus benjamina that we got from Home Depot a couple of months ago. I guess I already eliminated the spider mites from that. So. This is a, a really bad infestation. I'm going to get to close up and then I'm going to rinse it off and then take care of it. So now I have here the plant. I already hosed this down and sprayed it with Nim oil solution that I have. And then I have scissors. I have this 
water with a little bit of dish soap in alcohol and I have this jar glass jar we just water so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to cut all the vines like this I feel like it's scrolling my face. <laughs> it's really a bad infestation. And I did uh, cut it early. And I feel bad for this plant because this is such a nice plant. Like a fast growing easy care ha hoya. If you're just starting on Hoya, this is actually the one that is like really na nice for beginners. Removing all, all the vines. I'm gonna put this back in the sink. I'm gonna here, it's going to No, let's put it on the side. So, what I'm gonna do of this are I'm gonna remove all the leaves. This is the only way I know I can save this plant because this plant, like, have tiny, small leaves. It's impossible for me to, like, wipe off all the leaves so yeah I'm removing every leaves
So now I'm done removing all the leaves. I'm just gonna put it in this plastic. gonna submerge it on this mix of water uh, alcohol and a little bit of a dish soap so yeah I'm gonna leave this here for a couple of minutes whatever is in there like eggs and stuff like that it's still it's still stuff like a uh, mature spider-man for surely gonna die so yeah. And this mother plant, like the base of the plant, I'm just going to remove this. That was also, it's so gross because like the handle earlier, it's like full of spider mites. Mm. Now I need to make sure to like take care of the other plants that was on the shelf, that's on the shelf too, like all of this. Planting, it's probably. Ooh. It's full of water. So, what I'm gonna do is. Eat. Removing all the soil. Ooh. See how little the roots are. So yeah. I'm just gonna wash this off on the sink and then remove the remaining leaves. Wash off all the dirt. This is the base. So you can see the there's barely so recent. So I guess this one is not really doing well to begin with. See that? There's so just removing all the leaves. I got the this Goya Bella the mother plant from Itzy like last year and the mother plant actually also got infested with spermite before the, on our last house so this is actually just a, a propagation to I, I lost the mother plant. Not really lost it, it's still the same plant. I just have to propagate it again. I don't know. This is such an easy plant, but it's like a spider mite magnet. It's hard to 
like eliminate the spider mites because of the smaller leaves. I guess that's the reason. There's no spider mites in here anymore. It's so good. I'm not sure to put it in this two jar. Let me just remove this. Finally all done. This is what we have left. All just leafless vines. So anyway, thank you so much guys for watching. I will make sure to give you an update about this. And yeah, I'll see you in the next time. Bye.